All right, guys. The moment you've been waiting for. The next level, always the next level in technology and guitar, craftsmanship, and the and the latest in the state of the art of what you could do with electronics inside a guitar. It's Ben Leary of did I say that right? Leary. Yeah, Leary's fine. Leary of the Visionary Instruments. So uh, Ben, why don't you walk us through all of this? Well, this is our new model Robocaster guitar. It's a it's a standard Strat combined with. Uh, pretty radical MIDI controller. And this allows you uh, sort of finger touch access to all of the software programs. Um, things like Ableton Live, Guitar Rig, Amplitude. Um, you can get right into there and have that stuff right at the edge of your fingers. What happens is you develop new playing techniques, um, sort of effects-based playing. Uh, probably just giving you a demo would be better than uh, talking about it. Okay, uh, just to set everything up, you've got, you've got audio output. Yep. With the signal from the from the pickup, and you've got this locking locking USB, USB connector, and it's hooked up to your Mac straight to your Mac. Exactly. And so the Mac is processing the audio output from your guitar through Ableton and Guitar Rig. Everything you're hearing is done completely by the computer. So we're taking the tone of the guitar, processing it through the computer. The idea is to kind of replace the pedal board with something a little bit simpler and more versatile, and, and in some ways more powerful. Now, are you are you running Ableton through Guitar Rig, or are they parallel? Right now, Ableton is hosting Guitar Rig. Okay. Yeah. So we've got some of the effects happening in Ableton, some of them are happening in Guitar Rig. In fact, a lot of it's happening in Guitar Rig. Cool. All so. right. Uh, the other good thing to know is all of these knobs are customizable. So if you don't like a particular setup or you want to move an effect from one place to the other, it's quite easy to just remap those things into the, that's part of the power and the flexibility of these. So I've got Gibson hardware, like the old standard Les Paul switch, which is uh, just turning on and off effects. Um, I've got a gain on this knob here, so we can turn that in. Volumes on a slider, makes it a lot easier to access your volume and do swells. When the volume's cut, I have access right in. There's a filter, which is also part of the volume cut. This section over here is a pitch area, and um, we've added a digital whammy bar combined with a bunch of uh, tapper buttons that allow you access to certain pitches. So for instance, The nice thing about a digital whammy bar is you're not stretching your strings, you're not breaking strings, your guitar is never going out of tune, um, and you've got a preset range where you can set it to go, you know, half octave, full octave, three octaves. And you can use whatever gauge you like for bending and not have to worry exactly, about it. Exactly, exactly. And it's all, you know, very light on your fingers. You just keep it right there. So we've got in the back here a bunch of other assignable controllers. Right now I've got this set to stutter, it's pretty cool. You end up using these effects a lot more often when you don't have to step on them and look for them all the time. That's a place like I can look at, you know, up in the crowd, whatever. I know it's right there. And, and you can have this in your software already synced up to the tempo of whatever you're playing. Exactly, exactly. Or you can have the tempo mapped to another controller. So you can just change that stuff out. Could you do like an old school uh, delay effect where it warps the sound too? Absolutely, absolutely. I've got delay on here now. It's not set up uh -huh. to time though. Uh -huh. But uh, it would be pretty easy to set your time uh, on a fader and, and have the delay level on one thing. So it gives you a whole range of controls um, that you wouldn't normally have access to. You wouldn't really feel like you could use quite as often if you have to turn them on and turn them off or be married. You know, this way you're walking around on stage. You can go wherever you want. And you don't have to feel like you're sitting in front of like a wah pedal or something. The other fun thing is, you know, this requires your hand to come off the guitar. But we're using accelerometers as well to, to alter things like pitch. And 
not something you can play, you know, while you're while you're on the guitar, while you're you know doing a run or something. And Turn you, that reverb down. Still, unlike virtual guitar stuff, you could still process the audio with your fingers. You can bend the audio exactly. while exactly. you're doing digital pitch shifting with the accelerometer. Access, two two axes. Yeah. It's actually three axis three accelerometer. Axis. accelerometer. Yep. Nice. So there's there's a lot of range, a lot of expression. Um, we're really just beginning to unlock, I think, the power that's in the guitar that we've designed. So it's been a lot of fun. I worked with Matt Moldover on the uh, the design and the programming. Uh, Matt is a, a controllerist extraordinaire. Um, that combined with the uh, uh, my history of guitar making and such, we've really come out with quite an awesome instrument. It's a lot of fun to play and I think it's going to change things for a lot of players. So uh, call up Visionary Instruments. You got it. Visionaryinstruments.com. Check out the Robocaster. And, and you can order your guitar exactly the way you want, right? Color, finish. Of course. Yeah. Buttons. We're going to be doing a whole series. I'm coming out with a few new shapes soon. So it should be good. Well, <laughs> they're turning the lights out on us. So we'll have to come back maybe tomorrow or the last day and uh, finish up. I know. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, thanks a lot, Ben. You got it, man. Thanks a lot.